hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're back again with you already know what another foundation friday video and today we're gonna mess with this foundation so it's the pop perfecting cream powder foundation from black opal so if you want to see how that foundation perform you already know what to do keep on watching Okay, so we're back and yes, 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 I know this look is screaming summer. I mean, Texas, it's still, you know, 100 degrees outside. So guess what? For me, that is still summer. So, you know, we're going to rock summer look for till October and then we'll switch right to fall. I don't know. We'll see. So today I'm actually going to test this foundation from Black Opal. I tested another foundation from them already. I did not like that foundation. So this one is the Paw Perfecting Cream Powder Foundation. I guess maybe it's cream to powder kind of thing. I don't know. Who knows? But let me give a little information about it. So it has 12 shades. Not great. I mean, the shade range is terrible. Um... Fragrance free, oil free, uh, paraben free, hypoallergenic, and UV, U, UVA, UVB protection. How to use, apply with a sponge brush, beginning at the center of the face and blending outward towards the hairline. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Not a lot. It doesn't even say like what's the finish. Oh yes, why you love it. Flawless coverage with a smooth velvety finish this silky medium coverage cream to powder foundation is formulated to modify skin and control shine for all the perfection the shade id technology uses multi-colored chromatic pigments to adjust your unique skin tone and neutralize imperfections for a true to tone color color match and which with aloe and vitamin c and e to nourish your skin all day long let's jump into this baby where's my brush nope that's not it that is it i don't know man i don't know if this shit so there's a little sponge situation i hate those like this i, I don't like to use this i don't know if this is gonna match me Looks like so. This looks white. But you know what? The last one I got was like dark, so. Oh god. Oh god. I can already tell this is gonna be light, see? So I don't even know what that even means. To take it from like here, the center of your face, I guess, to the oh my god, and, and move it back. I guess I don't know. We'll just and guys, let's not let's not even talk about this foundation shade because this is definitely too light for me. Oh my god. I'm gonna be like flashback Mary, right? So because of this, I'm gonna have to go, you know, heavy with my contour. Cause this, <laughs> this foundation, oh my god, this foundation is light. So it says, you know, medium to full coverage. I'm not gonna go. I mean, I guess it's maybe a medium coverage. I'm not gonna go like with like crazy amount of layers of this foundation because I feel like this is gonna be greasy. Which shade is this? So this one is Sand, Kalahari Sand. Um, let me see, let me see. Cause this looks hella light. Ah, oh this looks like the lighter shade. Maybe it will oxidize a little bit. No, you know, like usually I hate it when my foundation does that. No, I'm like, please oxidize, please oxidize. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it will oxidize, and I'll get a little bit 
of you know darkness but yeah this foundation you see is definitely I mean I don't know like my chest is light so maybe it matches my chest but my neck I can definitely say it, it's not matching my neck and I, I still have some freckle situation showing through but I don't want to go any like with any more foundation because this foundation is too light so now let's jump into conceal I'm gonna use my makeup forever concealer and I'm just stamping this I mean with bronzer I can usually make it work so what what you can do if you have a concealer not sorry if you have a foundation that's super light you can go in with bronzer to kind of fix it and if you have a foundation that's super dark you can just go for really light concealer and like hit the high point of your face and go a little bit lighter with your contour and then you can usually make it work so that's my tip for the day okay so everything looks good you know for my foundation um i feel like my face is a little bit light but that foundation was super light but i can bring back some color in there with some bronzer so I'm not too worried about that okay so everything is looking good everything lays really nice you know really I know my contour is a little bit heavy just a little bit but you know what it's fine I will give you guys two check-ins as always for my foundation Friday videos and at the end of the night I'll give you my final thoughts so see you guys later hi guys so i am doing my first check-in like i've been here i'm actually at this asian market called h mart getting you know some stuff because you know my husband likes asian food i'm gonna attempt to make him some you know ramen we'll see how that works out but let's talk about you know the foundation situation um everything is still looking good um i've been wearing this foundation maybe for like three hours so everything's three four hours so everything is pretty good i would say i was expecting my face to be kind of more greasy but it's actually not so yeah holding on pretty good i'll give you guys one more check-in and let you know my final thoughts at the end of the night so see you guys later Hi guys, so I'm back and time to give my final thoughts on this foundation. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. So let's look. I've actually been wearing this foundation for about five hours, maybe five, actually longer than this. Cause it's, no, about five hours, five, six hours. Cause I started, I think I finished around like five and it's almost 10 o'clock. So yeah, about five hours. And this foundation surprisingly, it's actually looking really good like I have a little bit of separation like right here but I think I was doing this so that might have been what actually caused it but apart from that I mean look at my forehead like there's like literally no shine 
Like, look at this. This is looking good. It's looking good. And this foundation is actually, I think, let me make sure of the price. But I think it's only like 12 bucks. Maybe something. Yeah, $12. So, for $12, if you can find your shades, because it's only 12 shades, go for it. So that's it guys for this foundation friday don't forget to like subscribe join the family and you know what i'll see you on my next video bye guys